Right. We should be live again now. Hopefully that's cleared the frame rate up a bit. For some reason it was seemed like it was lagging quite a lot, so let's see whether that fixed it. I turned the bitrate down a little bit, so hopefully it's still okay. Looks like it's cleared up. You haven't really missed anything if you're just watching from this point, but... Alright, tell you what. Nab that moo over there and jump, and jump again when you're in midair. Okay, we don't need to... We don't need to uh, be told how to do that. As it is the second game. That's something new. Oh, they basically just replaced the jigsaw puzzles from the other one. Hey, Emprix, thanks for joining. You joined me just at the right time because the, the stream was going a bit weird before, so... Hopefully I've managed to clear all that up. You can also inflate enemies by hitting them with a wind bullet and then ride on the heads. Yes, we've already done all this. In the first game. There's something new over there. I think the cannons are new for this game. I don't... Do I want to do it now? Yeah. When Klonoa touches a cannon, he'll be sucked in, then shot out somewhere far, far away. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have done it just yet. I think I've just missed a bit. Unless this level loops around, we'll find out. So, as you can see, just like the first game. Oh, I can't do it from there, but there's there's certain things in the background to the stages. Tech issues. I'm having nothing but tech issues trying to get these streams to run properly. But hopefully I've fixed it all now. You can throw enemies to left or right in front. Considering this is part of the collection, it should probably be able to tell whether you've already played the first game and then not give you these tutorials. Because it does seem a bit silly to explain how to play it again when you've already played the whole game. When you've already played an identical game, gameplay-wise at least, in the first case. So that's what it meant about inflating the enemies. And then you can stand on them and... You know, use the other ones to bounce off them to get that extra height, which is pretty fun. Uh, in the first game as well, you can kill them and get extra gems, so let's see. Yeah, it's the same on this. So there we go, got a few extra gems. Uh, downloaded the demo, already played Klonoa 1 on the Wii, but haven't played 2 yet. Oh, you're in for a treat with Klonoa 2, it's fantastic. Well, they're both fantastic games, but the second one's even better, so hopefully this will give you a good idea of what to expect when you get around to playing that one. Uh, blue Dream Stones are worth five green Dream Stones. Try and collect 150 in each stage. I don't think I did that once when I was playing through the first game. You can break open boxes by throwing enemies into them. Boxes often have items inside. So, let's see whether I can actually get all 150 in this starting level. I probably won't try and do that for all the levels in the game, but at least for these first few. I'll give it a try. So, now we're back outside. And you can see the uh, terrible, terrible stuttery frame rate in certain sections. The PS2 version didn't have a bad frame rate, so... Uh, oh, I got a... something. Emperix followed me, thank you. I think I've got it set up so it does the sound. Hopefully you could hear that on the stream and see the little pop up in the corner. I've got sound coming through my headphones, but I don't know whether I've got it coming through on the stream yet, so apologies if you didn't get notified about the follow, but uh, I'll try and sort that out next time, if it's not working now anyway. Bunny Kirby? Yeah, well I Bunny Waddledy. Yeah, I got all of them. I'm going to try and get all 150. Pass the plungers here too, brilliant. thought these were going to be really easy games, but 100% in each level is proper tough. No sound came through, no major issue though. Oh, that's okay, I'll fix it next time. I thought it might not be working on the, on the stream. Planoa will move forward automatically while riding the bird. So this is something new in Klonoa 2. This, um... Ah, uh, see, I've already messed up. That's how hard these levels are to 100%. 
Okay, got the end on at least. Is the stream actually running okay, or is it buffering a bit? Mm, the bitrate seems okay, but on the preview that I've got on the screen, it seems like it's loading quite a bit. But I don't know whether that's just my computer showing that. It might be. Um, so that's saying about hidden eggs. It looks fine. Oh, that's good. It must just be the Wi-Fi on my MacBook that's running slow then. Which isn't a problem. It might be because I'm trying to record on there as well. Excellent. I'll just ignore the fact that that's buffering then. The bitrate's showing is fine anyway, so that's what matters, I guess. You want a Totodile icon? You mean for on Twitch? Uh, when the Mirror Spirit is accompanying Klonoa, each dream stone he finds is worth double. So this is something that was in the first game as well. Although, weirdly, they don't change colour in this one like they did in the other one. So, in the first game, you knew how long you had left because... Um, you knew how long you had left because they would turn gold. Um, I'm actually coping really well in the heat because we bought a air conditioning unit the other day because um, we both work from home and it would just be impossible to focus all day without one. So, so yeah, it's been it's been a pretty chill in here. It was like 23 while I was at work yesterday. So, yeah, no problem really. Until I stepped out of the room and then it was like stepping into an oven. But yeah, the weather's all right today. I've just got my fan on in the corner. Hey, don't worry about it. Some people might not know. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a lifesaver having that air conditioning. I understand how Americans feel now and why they make fun of us for not having it. But yeah, it it always seemed like it was a bit of a waste of money because you, um, you wouldn't use it that often. But. Buy an AC in winter. Yeah, you'll probably get it cheaper then. I think ours was about 500, which is pretty pricey just to use for two days. So I don't want to. I don't want to wish for global warming, but I hope there's a few other hot days that that we can get our money's worth from it. But yeah, it'll come. It'll come in handy in the future. We can just store it um, in the garage or something until we need it. Wow, what's with that bell? That's the spirit bell for priestesses. Only these. Only those with enough spiritual power can make it ring, so if you make it ring, you're a full priestess. I did it, I did it, Popka. A clumsy priestess. Using my AC to heat the house as well in winter. Oh, that's cool, so it's got like a dual, a dual system to it. 500's actually cheap compared to some of them that were on there. It's like a, a portable one that you can that you can move around and then it has this big pipe coming out of the back of it that you have to feed out the window. Apparently in America most of them are like built into the window or something, but I don't know whether you can get those here. Well, I'm missing the story again, I said I would focus on it this time. Something, something, you can ring a bell if you have enough special powers. Yeah, there were some cheaper ones we had to use ice on them, which didn't really sound that good. Oh, that's something I forgot about this game. It has a nice overworld, too. The first one just had that little fold-out storybook thing. But this one's got like a Mario Crash Bandicoot-style world map, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm playing this on the Switch. Uh, I haven't got the box here. Have I? I'm not sure where the box is. I missed a bit more of the story there. Yes, Mr. Baguchi. He appeared in the Sea of Tears, just as you foretold. Baguji's the one who said you'd appear. Pretty cool, huh? Your name is Klanoa, is it? How's the performance on the Switch? Uh, it's, it's not great. It's playable. But I do kind of wish I'd bought it on PlayStation instead. See that large tower? You'll find housed within it a harmony bell. You'll find a similar tower and bell in each of Lunatea's four kingdoms. 
They say the bells are responsible for maintaining peace throughout the entire world. However, I see another. A bell of darkness that belongs to none of the kingdoms. A fifth bell is about to be delivered unto our world. This bell, it must be the cause of the chaos befalling the kingdoms. Oddly enough, many people don't seem to notice. Monsters run amok and priestesses fall ill when they're tainted by the evil. Huh? What about Lolo? Well, I'm only apprentice. Right. Yeah, you'll see in a minute about the frame rate. It's it's kind of choppy. It depends on the area. Like sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's really bad. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Someone missed that like the past three times that I've been streaming. I haven't streamed on anything other than the Switch yet. Although I do have, if you can see behind me, I have all my consoles hooked up and ready to record. So I'll be branching out into some more retro stuff soon. I, I missed that bit. I think he just promoted her to be a full priestess. Or said that she might be soon or something. Save complete. Then we can move on to level two. And then, and then you can see how bad the frame rate is. Oh, I should have gone back to the first level just to see uh, how well I did with trying to 100% that stage. So the graphics look really nice, but you can probably already tell like from walking there to there that there's a bit of like hitches in the frame rate. Um, yeah, I think it's because they run the game in full 1080p. Maybe if they'd reduced the frame rate to 720 it wouldn't have been so bad. And it would have still been an improvement, you know, over the 480p of the uh, PS2 and Wii games that these are based on. But it doesn't really hurt the game that much. I mean, I was uh, brought up playing N64 games, so I'm used to bad frame rates. It really doesn't bother me that much. I was just happy to get this on a Nintendo console because... You know, it feels like Klonoa should be a Nintendo property, even though it started on PlayStation. Uh, when you double jump, you can throw an enemy below you, try slamming into the box below. Yes, I've already done that a million times in the first game, you don't need to remind me how to do it. Although I am going the wrong way, so let's go down here first. Um, for those of you who aren't watching, the, the main point about Klonoa is solving little puzzles like that by picking up the enemies and using them as projectiles or using them as a way to do a double jump, that sort of thing. So it's a really unique game mechanic and there's some really inventive level design as well to take advantage of it. Now do it a million times more. Yep. I think this game's like twice the size, maybe three times the size of the first one. So I doubt I'll finish that one. I doubt I'll finish this game tonight, but let's see how far I can get anyway. Uh... Oh, you're supposed to throw it over there like that. See, that's a nice little example of the sort of puzzles to expect. And you can shoot into the foreground and background by turning around like that as well. So sometimes you'll see things in front, you can fire the enemies forward, or you can fire them into the distance like that. So it's a really cool idea. Um, how do you rate the GBA games? I love the GBA games. I think they're fantastic. Um, the the first one on GBA was the first Klonoa game that I played, actually. And I, I really loved it. I haven't played much of the sequel, though, so I'm looking forward to playing that. I'll try and play them on stream at some point. I do have all of them. And I even have the uh, the very elusive third GBA game that only ever came out in Japan as well though. It cost a lot of money on eBay but I finally... I don't think I got it on eBay actually, I think I got it on Buy eBay, but yeah, either way I finally managed to get myself a copy. Uh, where are they? I had all the games out for the last stream. But I think I put them away somewhere. Hmm. 
Oh. Right, I can see him. One second. There we go. I know I'm supposed to be playing, but I'll just show you these while everyone's here. So, oh, I wonder, the, I wonder if this will work actually. Let me go back on display port. I've added a new option on here so that I can show the full screen camera. So if you can still hear me, then here's all of my Klonoa games, if that'll focus. Um, yeah, I've got all of them. That is that is the one I was on about that's, that's like an RPG. So it's called... Oh no, that isn't. That one's just Klonoa 2. But there you go. The RPG one is this one here called Klonoa Heroes. That's the one that's really hard to find these days. But it looks really interesting. It's like a isometric action RPG adventure game, which is really cool. Oh, hey, I got raided already. Thank you. Uh, I will get back to playing Klonoa. I was just showing off some of the games that I've got. So there's the first one on the GBA. I also picked this up recently, which is really cool. So this is the soundtrack for the first game. I haven't actually opened it yet. It's still sealed. You can see how much I paid for it as well. Uh, what else? There's the PS2 one that I'm playing now, but I'm playing it on the Switch. Yeah, that's why I got it, finally, because the uh, the ROM hacks come out so you can play it in English. There's the Wii one. There's the one I'm playing now on the Switch. So if you were wondering whether I've got the physical version, yeah, there it is. It didn't come out in America, though, which is really weird. Um, there's the Wonder Swan game, Moonlight Museum. A really great game, actually, and I love the way the Wonder Swan works with letting you play it uh, vertically on some levels, too, which is really cool. And then, of course, the last one is this really weird spin-off, Klonoa Beach Volleyball. So, I'll get back to the game now. There we go. I just wanted to show those off, and I'm really looking forward to doing um, a retrospective on them all, too. I've been planning it for years. So I'm really excited to do that. You've always wanted to get a Wonder Swan. Yeah, Wonder Swan's such an interesting and unique system. Uh, the, the volleyball one UK only. I'm not sure actually. It did come out really late in the PS2's life. Um, yeah, it says on the back there. It came out in 2002. So it came out two years after the PS2 was released, which is crazy. Thanks for the follows. Got two new people. Uh, Empress, Empress Hang Xiang, sorry if I mispronounced that, and Myong Redfield, or Millie Redfield, maybe, thank you, anyway, appreciate it, now let's get back to the game before I lose track of where I am again, and yeah, Wonder Swan's awesome, I want to do a video on it at some point, I want to get a modded Wonder Swan, so I can get a nice backlight on there as well. If I like retro, I live and breathe it. Well, you're very welcome here, then. If you can't tell by all the games behind me, and uh, over there as well. Yeah, I, I live and breathe retro too, so check out my YouTube channel after as well. But yeah, thanks for joining. What were you watching before you came over? Or what were they, what were they playing? Oh, that was lucky. I nearly... Um... Oh, no! I was about to say I nearly missed some, and I missed two there, so... Yeah, it gets really difficult if you want 100% these games. It gets insanely difficult. Set up a command for it. I haven't got anything set up on Twitch yet. I've only, I've only just started getting into the world of Twitch, so I don't know how to do any of that yet. And I don't, I don't have affiliate yet either, so I don't know whether that's something that you need to be Twitch affiliate for first. Um, you did send people to check out my YouTube. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We beat Jelly Boy on the Game Boy, and then we beat Lethal Weapon. Oh, that's cool. I'm trying to think, do I have Jelly Boy? I think I've got it on the SNES, if it's the same game. Uh, pass in front of an Ogo and you'll be gobbled up. Use an enemy as a decoy to slip by instead. If he comes back down here. Hey, eat this. 
It's like that thing in um, in Banjo Kazooie that jumps out the wall in Mad Monster Mansion. Okay, do I have to be really quick with this? So, oh no, he ate me as well. I was thinking I need to throw one to feed him and then quickly run through. Oh, I smashed it open anyway, never mind. I think the idea was to carry one with you and use it to, to break open that egg there. Oh, I'm surprised there's no hidden egg there. Uh, lethal weapon for Game Boy. Jelly Boy's a rough game, yeah. This next game looks... horrid though. Yeah, it's not very good, that's why I was kind of surprised that you'd been playing Jelly Boy, but... Maybe the Game Boy one's better. I'd love to do some Game Boy streams at some point. I've got a whole load of... I'm going to stop playing that so I can show you these again. I've got a whole load of homebrew games waiting to do another video on, so maybe I'll stream them at some point. If you're into your Game Boy homebrew stuff. I get new things through the post all the time. So, I'm planning to do streams for most games that I'm recording videos for. So there'll be plenty of variety on here. Oh man, I'm not doing very well with these enemies, so I need to stay back a bit more. I probably missed something up there, but let's carry on. Um, you did own it. F you did own Jelly Boy for a few weeks, and brought brought it for another collector. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Mag Magellan76. Sorry, I'm terrible with usernames, but thank you so much for the follow anyway. Really appreciate it. And uh, once again, I missed part of the story. So, what's going on here? Hey, didn't we pass another one of those statues earlier? No, this is a current statue of the Mother Goddess Claire. Huh, then what was that before? Shots one, thanks for the follow. Uh, what was that before? And another one. Wido84. Wido? Wido? How do I pronounce that one? That's a statue of Claire the Ancient, and they say it was all that remained after she was purged of all evil. Hmm. Let's get going then. Okay, let's get going. So I guess I don't do anything with the statue just yet. The statue is just going to throw some spike balls at me. Weedo. <laughs> okay. You should put two eyes in it. My my username for a long time was Nintendo Wii. Back in the day. Back in the good old days of YouTube. before Google went crazy with power. Hey, yeah, you remember me back in my Nintendo Wii days. I remember you from back then. It's good to see some old names and faces still around. Yeah, I, I had to change the name from Nintendo Wii because I didn't really just want to be associated with Nintendo stuff. And I was also having the problem that whenever someone searched for my channel on YouTube, it would autocorrect it to Nintendo Wii and then they wouldn't be able to find me. So it sounded cool and it, it was a clever play on words. Well, I thought it was at the time anyway. But yeah, it didn't really work very well as a username. And then after that I was Let's Play Retro Games for a bit, and then I stopped doing Let's Plays. So that name didn't last long anyway. And then, I think it was actually Sarah Risuchu on here that came up with the name Retro Break. Throw an enemy at the pendulum to break the pillar in your way. But Retro Break was originally the name of my game company, it wasn't going to be my YouTube channel or anything. And then when I was thinking about rebranding YouTube, I already had that name to use anyway. But yeah, Retro Break was the name that I used to release Super Donuts under. If anyone, if anyone uh, knows what that was. But we don't talk about Super Donuts anymore. Right, what am I supposed to be doing here? I think I've got to fire them at the pendulum. Ah, okay, clever. 
called it. And now I'm going to go around the side and then hit it into one of the other pillars. Maybe that one? Okay, I'm going to wait for it to stop shaking as well. Yeah, there we go. I'm looking forward to seeing what all the different boss fights are in this game, because I loved playing the, through the bosses in the first one. They were all so unique. Uh, right, is there one more to do, or have I done everything? I think that's everything on that side. Oh, I thought that floor there was destructible, because it's got that pattern on it, but it wasn't. Let's carry on down here. I think after this stream as well, I've only got two more to do, and then I'll hit affiliate. Which is exciting, and I can start rolling out some of those other channel features. Now then, Lolo, you wish to save the world, do you? Right. It won't be an easy task. I'm prepared for it. And I rang the spirit bell. Come on, let's go and save the world. I've told myself I'm not going to fast forward through the cutscenes this time because I ended up skipping quite a few in the first game, which might have annoyed some people. So I'm just going to keep my hand off the R button and let these ones play out. You're hereby granted the rank and responsibilities of a priestess. And I expect great deeds from you for the sake of the world. Thank you. This game at least makes a bit more sense that she's a priestess and not just some idol, which was a bit weird in the first one. I didn't really know what was going on in the first game. Your first task is the journey to the four kingdoms in which the harmony bells are housed. And once you reach the kingdoms, you must go and gather the power from their bells. Gather the power of the bells. It's the harmonious power of the bells that will make it possible for us to contain the evil. Can you do this, Lolo? Yes, I'll do my best. Then journey now to the Bell of Tranquility. Which is the closest? Yes, ma'am, if you'll excuse us. Yeah, come on, we've got a game to play. Klanoa. Nice hat. You're a kind lad. Please watch over and protect our Lolo. Vision player. I was looking at Klonoa merchandise on eBay the other day, and there's a Klonoa plushie, but it's really, really expensive. I think I saw it in Japan, actually, when I was there once, in one of the Mandarake stores. But it was like £200, which is just insane. I saw someone on Twitter that had it. They had, like, a crazy Klonoa collection with, like, all different regional versions of the games and all of the manga books that you can get for it and stuff as well. And I would love to get all that stuff for my, um, for my retrospective video, but I just don't have that kind of spending money. Or at least not for not for Klonoa stuff. I want it to be more, well, the quintet stuff, which if you've been following me on YouTube for a while, you'll know why. Uh, Maple Syrup Mogul, thank you for the follow. A bandit. She wreaks havoc on the world while searching for treasure. The nerve, they called us bandits. Who is Tat? She looks like a bandit. Let me spell it out. Sky Pirates. She's Leoria. Leorina, the Sky Pirate. I'm Tat, her cute sidekick. Don't you forget it. So you're the dream traveller, I see. You are of little consequence, but I'll relieve you of that ring. The ring? No! How will I be able to inflate enemies if you take that away from me? I figured this would happen. Is this going to be the first boss fight? What? Why is she walking and not going anywhere? Get them. Oh, come on. Do you need to tell me the weakness to the boss? That's kind of cheating. Throw enemies into the clone part of its tail. Jump and avoid its three claws. Watch out when it attacks. Yeah, I would have figured that out. Anyway, there's a big red X on it. There we go. 
go. Pretty easy. And then I guess it's going to spin round and I'll have to play skipping rope with it for a minute. Or not. Do I get to hit him again? Yeah. Okay. That was weird. I thought he was going to attack me. I wonder if you can time it there when it's spinning around very fast. Maybe I'm being a bit too careless. Okay, looks like it's getting closer to the edge, maybe. Where's it, when's it going to attack me? Is it just forgot? No, I don't think you, I don't think you can do it then. I think it's ah, I threw it sideways. Okay, there's some things coming. I'm not really going to present much of a challenge, eh? Okay, it's health bars filling back up. Now it's going to get more interesting. Uh, is the stream still running okay? It's saying that the download was cancelled, whatever that means. We'll just reload that, make sure everything's still okay. Oh yeah, looks fine. I don't know why the preview's been weird. Um, am I doing something wrong here? Do I still need to... Oh, I still need to find the axe in the back. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's weird. The stream manager was telling me there was a problem. And I can just focus on this. I should probably just not worry about that stream manager because it was saying there was something wrong with it before and there wasn't. I'll trust you guys to put something in the chat if it if it breaks or anything. Okay, the fight's getting a bit more interesting. Is there going to be a third phase? No, I think that's it. Pretty easy first boss. Yeah, vision clear. I want to sort of fly around like knights when it says vision clear and do all the like the backflips and stuff. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh? Hmm? What is your name? I know her. Bye, Team Rocket. So this is the Bell of Tranquility. Just shoot it, right? Oh, I actually had to shoot it. I thought that was part of the cutscene. Okay, is that the first world complete? Can't remember how many worlds there are in this one. This is the bell's power. We just call it an element for short. It's pretty, help me. What? Do I need to do anything? No. I can't tell when it's still a cutscene or not. Oh yeah, before we carry on, I'll go back to the first level and see how far off I was 100% in it. If it actually tells you. Does it say? Oh yeah, I missed a puzzle piece in that one as well. Uh, yeah, so I got 139 out of 150. So I was close. Um, let's see what I got in that one. 113 and 5 out of 6. So yeah, not great. Right, do we need to go back here now? I heard of a sky pirate searching for gold, but I never thought she would seek the ring as well. Could be they're trying to save the world too. I see, looks like we've got some competition. That ain't what they are, you dope. Still, the Dream Traveler's ring is a sacred item. They say it will not work without a priestess. And still in the ring ain't enough by itself. Well, that's a bit reassuring. You must seek all the bells. To the next bell then. 
Joyland's the entire kingdom is like a giant amusement park. Great timing. We aren't going there to play. On to Joyland. These are fun levels, if I remember right, from the PS2. Now let's go and check out some of the fun fair levels. Level 1, Joyland Plaza. There's some really weird looking creatures here. They look like Jinjos. Kind of. Or they look like things you'd see in the background in Space Channel 5 or something. Wow! Watch it, will you? The element is gone! Oh no! Meow, 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 meow. Where's that pesky thief? Guess who has it? Come and get it if you can. After him, Klonoa. Sure. Let me go after them. Was that a level? No, I was just introduced it. And then we got two levels. So, Jungle Slider or Fun Park. Let's start with the Fun Park. Hit the switches with a wind bullet or an enemy to trip them. Yeah, so far everything is exactly the same as the first game. There hasn't, there hasn't really been any new um, additions to the gameplay yet. Just different level environments and stuff. Which is good. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the original gameplay, so there was no reason to change it. Looks like this bit might take a while. I don't think the Switch likes having that many eggs on the screen at once either, because the frame rate's taking a nosedive. I knew one of them would have a puzzle piece in. Ah, and um, that one's the one that gives you extra, extra gems. So unfortunately we wasted that. So if you can get extra gems, then that must mean that some of the levels have more than 150. Or it means that you have to be really careful with it to get all of them. Hey, up here, silly. <laughs> that. Just wait, I'm gonna get you. Okay, don't make it weird. Isn't this a bit high even for you? Oh, well, you're another useful trick. Okay, that's not a kitten. What is that? It's like a bicycle seat with udders. Grab him and just keep jumping. Do it right and it'll be a cinch to get up there. Watch out, he'll vanish after a while. Okay, it's getting weird again. Okay, okay, let me, let me try. Ah, okay. Keep pressing B. Oh, okay. Like a propeller. That controls pretty weirdly. Every time you throw an enemy into the swing ship, it'll swing higher and higher. Okay. That's something new, so... That's <laughs> some of the most broken physics ever. Okay, I don't think that's how that would work. At all. Am I going the right way? Um, maybe I want to check out what's on the other side first. Some nice fireworks in the background. Oh, I don't think it's going to go fast enough. Oh no, I needed him up there. Every bit, thanks for the follow. Follow. 
Did you come over from the raid, or did you find me on Twitch? Right, let's try going this way then. Hopefully this level on loop trained. I always hate going into a different area in case I missed something. Okay, we're just... Um, we're just gate crashing a, a show, apparently. Look at that Jinjo on a ball. Whoa! And let's get the puzzle, please. Okay, that's all that was up there. I wonder if I can knock him off the ball. Let's try picking up this enemy here. Ah! Out of the way. Okay, let's try. Ha! Huh. Okay, he's gone into the ball. <laughs> he played it up as, as a party trick. Okay. I wonder, if he stays on there, can I hit him from... Yeah, uh, won't let me line up. No, it won't let me line up. I thought maybe you have to hit him off the balls, but from the raid, awesome! Thanks for sticking around. I've actually started following a few people, so I can do a raid at the end of my stream as well now. I only really just started using Twitch, and when I finished one of my live streams last week. I didn't have anyone to go and raid because I wasn't following anyone who was live, which was a bit sad because I was excited about doing it for someone else. I've had a few really nice people raid, uh, you know, bring their viewers over because they know me from YouTube, which is just amazing. Like, the community here on Twitch seems fantastic. Uh, am I supposed to do it like that? Clever. Okay, it's a little puzzle room, kind of like what, what was in the first game. That's nice. Apparently the discoverability on Twitch isn't great, so I think, you know, having raids is probably a good idea. Um, a, a good way of getting people to come over. Uh, grab hold of Jetimo to soar up high. Be sure to adjust your position before takeoff. Okay, let's see what he does. Oh, okay. Whee! And then is he going to let me go? Yeah, and I've got everything. That's cool. Was there anything else over there, though, that I missed? Let's go back over, just in case. Even though I'm not 100% in the game, I can at least try and pick things up. Let's see what's on this side. Oh, there wasn't anything over there, anyway. It's kind of like the the rocket wisp in Sonic Colors. Okay, let's see whether we can. Uh, uh, why are the controls for that are really awkward? Okay, let's see if it comes back. Come on, bicycle seat with others. This is more awkward than Flappy Birds. Ah, no, I don't think I'm going to get that one. I would have fallen into the water. Never mind. Yeah, this would be really frustrating to try and 100% it with collecting all the gems and stuff. Why was the bridge that flimsy? Okay, let's carry on this way. There must be some some reason to leave it open like that. Okay, just to pick that enemy up. There's a roller coaster in the background. Wow, it's almost like that enemy was just born to be killed going over a bridge. Right, where do I go now? In here? Yeah, we can go in. Hmm, my preview's lying to me again. It's saying that the stream's died. But it hasn't. Stop lying to me. Who's there? Welcome to the terrifying ghost palace. Enjoy to your heart's content this bizarre and dreadful adventure. Are you afraid of ghosts? I'm not scared of anything. Come on, let's go. I forgot she was inside the ring. Another kind of um, Nights into Dreams feeling stage. Uh, 
Oh, no, I thought I was supposed to jump off there, but I wasn't. Yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoying watching Klonoa. I know it's a kind of slow-paced game, but I really enjoy them. Uh, time switches will turn off after some time, move quickly, and turn them all on. Okay, I've got to do it this way around. There were some really difficult ones of these in, in the first game. Near the end of the game. So I'm sure there'll be some in the sequel as well that are just as frustrating. Klonoa is awesome. Yeah. Some of the later levels are more fun. These ones are just sort of easing you into the game a bit. Why do they look like uh, that Pokemon Rog and Roller? Uh, oh, they do hurt. I wasn't sure if they hurt. No, they don't. They just push you away. That's okay then. We can just keep retrying this until we get them all. Hey, we got them. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if I can just carry this to the other end. Yeah, there we go. No hidden secrets at the top. It's not a Mario game. And what is the idea here? Throw. Hmm. What is the idea? Uh, pink. Pinky. Pinky, a girl soaring 86. Okay. I probably completely butchered that username, but thank you. Ah, okay, you can pick him up. Right, let's so start there, jump down, hit that one, and then throw it over there. Yay, easy. Okay, there's a giant one. Right, come this way. Oh, there's another one. Let's get the gems out of that one then. So... Raise him. Use him as a platform. Easy. This kind of feels like a Banjo-Kazooie sort of themed area as well. Right, so hit that, throw that over there, and then jump down and hit that one. Hopefully they get more complicated, because they're all kind of exactly the same idea. Oh no! Oh wow, that was close. I didn't think I'd get back up then. Oh no! Oh, I thought I could hit while I'm in the air. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Um, how many lives have I got? Seven. That should be fine. I can't remember how you get new lives, actually. Is it 100 gems? That would make sense. You fearless and foolish souls, now your journey has become a one-way ticket to the underworld. Oh no! She's afraid of everything! Something's wrong here. Here they come. Right, what do I need to do? Something to do with these. Okay. Fly up. And then use them as project projectiles. That's cool. I do love how different every single boss fight is. I think this is the first one that's not been in a 3D arena as well. Usually they're in like the 360 degrees stages. Come here! How does he break things without touching them? That's cheating. There's a hidden egg back there. I think the coins are extra lives as well. How did I miss that? Let's get all the gems. I hope they do make another Klonoa game. I know that um, is it Namco? They were saying that if this one does well, they might reconsider 
bringing, you know, revitalizing the IP. But I always hate it when companies say that, because obviously they're like, hey, if you buy the game, we might do something, but they just want as many sales as they can. And honestly, this is a pretty cheap port. Like, there are a lot of things they could have done better. Obviously, the frame rate isn't as good, but there's also a few issues with things like the lighting that's been downgraded from the originals. And just generally, it's a little bit unresponsive compared to the older games. And the cutscenes aren't quite as nice as they used to be, but it's still fun. Well, I know it. I'm just so irresistible. Let's see whether you can catch me or not, though. Okay, now it turns into a 3D uh, side-scrolling environment. I knew they couldn't resist not having a 3D section to the boss. Come on, I'm getting closer. Now what? I got you fair and square. Now hand over that element, will you? Hey, watch where you're grabbing, you perv. <laughs> Again, they're making it weird. Stop being creepy about it. You chose the wrong one. I don't have the element. See ya. I'm so mad. I think we'll find the other one at the jungle slider. Of course. And I bet if you did the levels the other way around, it would say the opposite. Right. Snack break. Does anyone else like these? Caramilk buttons. Caramel is my new favourite chocolate. It's like caramel, but even sweeter. Mm. Ah, I just remembered I've got some Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the freezer as well. I'll save that for tomorrow's Sonic stream. I'll go and mute so you don't hear me. Chomping away. I really remember really enjoying these levels. They're kind of like um, the Donkey Kong style uh, minecart stages. They were in the first game as well, and I think they work the same, yeah. So you can... Um, oh no, I'm going to I'm gonna retry that level, I messed up already. You can speed up and slow it down by holding left or right as you're going across the stage. Uh, okay, I'll show you what the fast forwarding cutscenes looks like. So. That's basically what I was doing in the first game and annoying people. But, um, yeah, I'm sure speedrunners know a way of... Ah, damn it. Let's try again. I hope I'm not using a life when I do that. No, I've still got eight. That's okay. Right. If I don't get it this time, I'll just carry on the level anyway. The, the GBA games have a load of these sort of bonus levels as well, which is really fun. Okay, yeah, I did it that time. So, the controls are exactly the same as the main game, so... You've still got, like, the double jump off the enemies and stuff. You just can't go back on yourself. Uh, slow down, slow down! Hey, I got it! I didn't think I would get that. So you can still shoot behind you as well. That was lucky. Yeah, this kind of looks and feels like something you would find in, like, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze or something. The way it uses the the camera. What's the point of that? They can't hit you there. There's that classic scene. That's the, the gif if you search Klonoa2 on Twitter. That's what I posted earlier. Uh... Okay, they're changing direction. That's okay, that was the right way to go. I don't know whether if you float it slows you down. I think it does a bit, actually. Yeah, I got everything that time. 
I would hate to have to replay these auto scrolling levels if you missed anything though. It does seem like a very basic stage though. I hope some of the later levels are a bit more um, in depth with their layouts. It's kind of getting a little bit more interesting. Oh, yeah, I got it. Look at that repeating water texture. Okay. Uh, oh, that was close. I thought we'd get hit then. I haven't taken any damage so far. Uh, can I pick these enemies up and throw them? Uh, I was hoping to like do some trick where I could attack all three of them at once. Why do I think this bit looks like something in Pokemon Snap? Can I do a double jump like this? Maybe. Oh, I missed one. I don't know whether I'll need to hold on to one of the enemies. Is that why they were popping up here? No. No reason. Oh, the colours are so bright I can hardly even see those gems there. Wow, this is a pretty long level. Oh, I missed another one. Yeah, this would be so frustrating if you were aiming for 100%. If you're aiming to get 150 gems on each stage. Are we done? Are we going to find that weird flirty cat? Are we going to find the other one? Girls don't like pesky boys, you know. So what if he's pesky? It doesn't matter. I like him just fine. So she, she's agreeing that he's a pesky boy. <laughs> we can't just stand here, she's going to get away. Yeah, change the subject, quick. Wow, okay, she took a while to get away though. Oh no, no, we've got to carry on. Chase after Tat and use wind bullets to capture her. Oh, that's cool. So, the boss fight, if you want to call it that, for this level is just a, a chase. I wonder if you catch her too soon, though, would you not be able to get some of the later gems? Like, I don't want to catch up with her just yet, because I can see that there's gems further down. And... Wow, that bounced me higher than I thought. I wasn't sure how I'd get that. Maybe you actually can't get to her until the end of this stage, then. You have to do this whole chase sequence. It would be weird if it was cut short. Hey, that's cheating. Get off there. Can I go up there? No, that is cheating then. Another Donkey Kong moment. I wonder what this track was designed for. Like, it's supposed to be a theme park and it kind of looks like a roller coaster. But then when you get on there, there's no tracks or anything. Ah, okay, it's started the level over again. Now I can just chase after it. Get back here. Surely they can't just send kids down here with all these, like, deadly spikes and everything. We got the real McCoy this time, hee hee. Ah, serves you right, the element's ours. Oh, poo. Maybe I messed up. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll see. What was that? Sounds like Central Plaza to me. Oh my god, those sound effects are going to get annoying. Vision clear! Yay! 
save complete. So what's everyone else been playing recently? Have you been playing any interesting retro games? I haven't really played that much. I've got a lot waiting to play, but I haven't actually had that much time to play anything really. I've been playing a bit of... Yeah. On the PS3 I've been playing some Atelier Rorona, and I've been really enjoying playing through that. It was something I played a long time ago, but for some reason I wanted to start playing it again. And I found the Plus version in CEX the other day. And I have a very bad habit of buying games and then just putting them on the shelf. Hey, Starlux here. Just popped in to say hi, waiting for things to cool down. Yeah, it's a lot It's a lot cooler here than it was the past few days. Wahahaha. I went back to Crash Bandicoot 2. Cool. Probably my favourite of the classic Crash Bandicoot games. Were you playing the PS1 game or were you playing the... Um, the trilogy on modern consoles? Right, what am I supposed to be doing on this boss? Oh, okay. Wait for him to do his rolly mole thing and then hit him on the other side. You have the same habit of buying games and not playing them. I get too excited, like, just thinking, oh yeah, that's a, that's a cool box art, or I've heard about that game, I bet it's really good, and then I never have time to actually play any of them, which is sad. What's going on here? Where? Did I just miss it? So yeah, hopefully having Twitch will actually give me a bit more of a reason to play some of the games that I pick up as well. I might do that, like, before I film a pickups video. I could come here and get some footage from them and check all the games out. So, this is a weird boss. It seems very slow. There must be something more to it than this. It doesn't seem like it's really had a way of hurting me yet. There must be more. Been getting into some 3DS stuff since the eShop's closing. Yeah, I think I remember you saying last time you were you were looking for some games to pick up for it. They actually announced a proper date now, haven't they? I really need to try and get some more 3DS games. The ones that I want, that I've got left to get, are so expensive now though. Like, I want to get Radiant Historia. That's like over 100 quid. I even found someone selling just the box without the game for like 80 or something. Okay, here's how the boss is going to get a bit more interesting then. Can I actually go fast enough? Yeah, just about. I like the fact that these bosses have like several health bars. Running out of slots for digital games. Need to get a bigger SD card. Or you've just actually run out of space on the whole homepage. What about the Wii U? Are you interested in getting any games on there before it all shuts down as well? I want to try and do a video about some of my favourite Wii U games too. There are a few. The 3DS has a 100 game limit. Oh, I didn't know that. Does that include putting games in folders too? Is that just like a hard limit? Okay, this boss is interesting, but it's taking its time. Getting bored now, come on. Oh, what? That took off like half its health in one go. Okay, I spoke too soon. Gave up and bought Radiant digitally. Yeah, I know I could, but I really want the box. I know. I shouldn't think like that, but that's, that's just what I think. With any game that's a lot easier to get digitally. Damn collector's mentality getting the better of me.
Oh, I missed that then. Did I get anything? You can keep the element as a souvenir until we meet again. Bye bye. Yay, so I got something for it. There's the weird Jinjo creature. And is that it? Ring the bell? That's world two complete. Can't remember how many worlds there are actually. I don't know whether I'll be able to get through all this in one sitting or not. Two, two, walk three. I'm not going to cheat, I'm just going to see how many worlds there are. Uh, <laughs> all the names are weird, I don't know where I am. Jungle Slider, I think that one was called. Uh, don't be counting your chickens yet. Keep a tighter grip. I'll be fine, I got this. The Wii U, I believe, has the same 300 limit. I have 237 download titles at the moment. Bye. What are some of your favourite download games on the Wii U, then? I haven't really had a look at the Wii U eShop properly since it was announced that it's closing, so I should probably go and do that whilst I can. Unless it's too late already. Um, unlocked Mommet House. What is that? Oh, yeah. Let's see, what was the name of that level I was just in? That was Jungle Slider and Joyland Fun Park. So, I'm about a quarter of the way through the game. So, if I play it for maybe another hour. Ah, they're mostly virtual console games, so that makes sense. So, yeah, by, let's say... 10 o'clock, I should be about halfway through the game. And then I might end this stream a little bit early, around 10, because I have a video that I want to try and edit before Friday as well. Welcome, Klonoa. I've heard so much about your feet. Pardon me, I'm Mommet, the showman of memories. I make various attractions based on memories for everyone to enjoy. So how about it? Would you like to try one out? That reminds me, did you happen to come across any dolls during your adventures? What is this weird creature that I'm talking to? With a moustache on the end of his nose. I created some memory dolls, you see, but they ran off shouting, we want more memories. I suppose they're having a grand old adventure on their own, though. They aren't very sturdy, though. I hope they aren't lying about... I hope they aren't lying about broken somewhere. I thought you meant lying as in not telling the truth then. If you find any, could you bring them here, please? Have I found any dolls? Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, we brought back a big old beastie. Can you find all 150 dreamstones in a single vision? Get a picture for each vision you clear. Memorial Gallery. It doesn't do anything. Maybe because I haven't found... Yeah, it's not let me do anything. I suppose if I come back there later on, it'll let me see some interesting pictures. But that's a really nice picture on its own. It's really high resolution too. And is that just... That's just fighting the bosses again. You must get something for doing that. Uh, do I need to fight the bosses again? It's not telling me anything. Do I need to go back to this guy again, maybe? Tell him that I've beat the second world. Yeah. What do you think she plans to do with the data? That's the long way of saying, um... Aha! Oh no, I skipped it too far, that's why I promised I wouldn't fast forward. A place where the fighting never stops ever, the people in there live to fight. With the civil war going on, how do you sneak in? Underground is the way, follow the underground path to the bell. There's a path underground. This is real cloak and dagger stuff. Let's go then. Okay, we've got to sneak our way in. into a city that's 
um, in the midst of a civil war, apparently. And by underground, it means go through this giant hole in the wall and then just go straight onto the city streets, apparently. They could have shown that a bit better. Well, that wasn't too difficult. The Bell of Discord? Oh my god, they saw the future. Is that what the goddesses are there, Discord mods? There she is, hacking into the Discord server. We need more power. There's no way to tell when it will explode. Go and check on the reactor. Which one do you mean? The one that's above or underground? Both. We need all the power. Overload them if you need to. A Vulcan City or two is a small price to pay for a copy of the ring. A copy of the ring? Okay, off I go. She said those reactors might explode. Fighting them is a waste of time. We have to get to the source of the problem. No, the reactor was running at full capacity just yet. Let's start with that then. Whatever that means. Uh, okay. So we've got another choice of two stages. Although it doesn't really matter because you still have to do both of them to progress anyway. They may as well have just put them in order. Vault City through the crossfire. Another interesting concept for a level. Like a city that's at war. Kind of dark for a kid's platforming game. Again, nothing too different from the first game though. Like a lot of these enemies are the same. A lot of the... well, every... all of the gameplay mechanics so far are identical to the first game. You'd think, considering, you know, this game was built for a newer system, they would have tried to do a bit more to make it stand out as something a bit more, you know, pushing the hardware a bit. But it's still a really fun game either way. Is this the right way to go, or have I just skipped a part of the level now? Let's hope not. Have any of you guys watching ever played Klonoa 2 before? Or is this all new to you? I think there was a bit higher up there as well. Okay, that's brought me back here again. I'm going to carry on going and see see what's over here. There is something over there. I knew I should have come back down. Let's see what's over here. Or maybe that's the next part of the level. Oh, maybe I should go back the other way then. That's what I don't like about going through the doors. I never know whether it is the next part of the level or whether it's actually just a trick. Or... Yeah, it's difficult to tell whether you're going the way they intended you to go, or whether you're heading towards a secret area. Or does it just loop around in a circle? Well... Okay, it just loops around. Well, let's go and take it back again, so there wasn't anything to do over there anyway. Uh, there is something new at least, there's an egg that I found. Okay, it had a, a one-up in it. Oh well, worth doing. I shouldn't have panicked so much about going that way though. There wasn't anything worth coming back for. Just disturb all those mice again for no reason. Weird music in this one, it's just like some little jazzy background drums. What's going on? I don't want to bang my head on the roof. That's a cool scene, seeing the tops of all the houses. And seeing the streets on fire, and there's even something walking around in the back there with a gun.
Why are you following that one? Something's going to fall on me. Where did he go? Oh no! So far, I feel like I haven't been hurt as much as in the first game. Like, this one seems a lot easier. I don't know whether that's just me being better at the game after playing the first one. Hey, there's a gem up there. Or whether this game is actually easier than the first game. I think I remember it being more difficult than this, so I'm quite surprised. Okay, there's nothing else up there. I'm quite surprised how easy I'm finding it. Let's go down here. It's a shame they didn't really carry on with the main series, because I would have loved to see what they would do on, like, the PS3 if they did carry on the proper Klonoa series. Grab an Urbil and double jump to break the boxes and vanquish foes. Okay, do we have a new... We have something a little bit new, at least. There we go. They introduced a kind of new mechanic. Where you can shoot up with a bit of an uh, electric bolt, like that. And apparently... Uh, just go straight through the enemies. Is he gonna come down? Oh, I gotta do that. The GBA ones, if I remember right, are a lot more puzzle focused. Whereas this one was maybe made easier on purpose to give it kind of more of a standard action platformer feel in comparison. Oh no! I missed it. I wonder if I can go back down there and try it again. Um, am I dead? Okay, maybe I can't go back down there. Oh no! Well, that was one way of getting back there anyway. Oh no, I think that started me after. Never mind. I'm not aiming for 100%, but if I was, I would have restarted the level then, because I missed one of the puzzle pieces. But, oh well. Let's just carry on. Uh, there's nothing there! Am I going to break into the ceiling? No, I'm just going to hit my head. Really, there's no um, repercussions for not doing that. It's a very lenient game. I love the view from up here, though, seeing the roofs of all the buildings and stuff. Really cool. Even if the level itself is very easy. I wonder if there's a hard difficulty to unlock. There might be. Like, it's weird. It's like they just forgot to put the enemies in. This whole area is kind of empty. Considering there's supposed to be a war going on. It's like, nothing to worry about. See? Again, there's nothing there. Just walk straight through everything. Maybe they're all too busy fighting each other. Is that the excuse? I don't know if there's a hard mode. There was an, there was an easy mode or normal mode, and this is normal mode. When you started the game up, it gave you the option of those two. Maybe they think these are like challenging platforming levels, but Klono is very easy to control, so you don't really have to worry about um, any platforming challenges, really. And again, there's no enemies.
Oh, that's that's a cool, uh, a cool little scene transition. There's a big enemy over there. Let's go and drop something on his head. Add another one. I kind of wish there was a run button to to move a bit faster as well. Hopefully, I didn't need him to use as a platform. Uh, I didn't need them for anything. I didn't know whether I needed to pick one up. Hmm. Well, I think they were more interested in just showing off this really detailed environment. I remember when the game was being shown off for the PS2, they always referenced this level. Oh, I don't think I want to land on there. Oh, maybe I... Wait, what? Am I supposed to land on the front of the train? Wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do then. Probably land on the front of the train. I'm here. I think. I don't want to go on those hot coals. Yeah, just wait on there. That was a waste of a life. Fast forward a little bit until they start talking. This is it. I'd say we're at the right place. Well, let's shut it down then. There we go, that's one of the generators taken care of. Vision clear. Now we get to go and take out the other one. Or switch off the other one, I guess is what they would do. I've got some other new games here. I was just looking at them that I haven't played yet that I picked up the other day. There's Millennium Soldier on the Dreamcast. Has anyone heard of that game? Don't know whether it's any good or not. And the other one, the Dreamcast as well, is called Slave Zero. So let me know whether you've played either of them. And I picked up a few GBA games as well for friends, so Mega Man Battle Network 5, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, and unfortunately a repro, but it won't focus. Summon Knight as well, so got them to check out soon. Oh, now we're going underground. This is how this area should have started. Time you jump with B and Klonoa can jump way higher than usual. If that's way higher. I was expecting to go higher up than that. Uh, someone told me Millennium Soldier is pretty fun. Although it suffers because the Dreamcast hasn't got a second analogue stick. So I'm guessing it's like um, one of those top-down... Uh, twin stick shooter kind of games except you'd have to use the face buttons uh, I think what I'm going to do here what I need to do is throw something because I'm guessing in that tunnel there is one of those enemies that jumps out and eats you let's try ah yes there we go one of those mad monster mansion enemies Oh. Rusty Bucket Bay as well. I remember they're in that stage too. Nothing over there? What's the point of going that way then? Millennium Soldier's a lot of fun. That's good. I've had a few people tell me that, so I'm I'm looking forward to trying it out. 
Was it on anything else as well? Okay, is he busy eating? Ah, oh, no, he's not. I uh, brought a copy of Fist on the sand and a Japanese copy of Pokemon X. I didn't really like X and Y that much. I thought they were way too easy for their own good. Oh, maybe that was my fault for just playing through the whole game with Sylveon. You won't be able to open these doors without a key. Oh no, where's the key? Oh, wow. PC and PS1 as well. Oh, I thought so. I'm guessing the Dreamcast game is the same as the PS... It's the same as the PC game. There was quite a lot of Dreamcast PC ports because it had Windows CE. Grab a boomy and it won't be long before it explodes. Short fuse boomies will start glowing when Kalino gets close to them. Boomies blow up, user explosions. Yeah, I guessed. You don't need to tell me everything. Is he gonna blow up? Eventually. Why don't they just blow up on impact? I've started getting back into Dreamcast a bit because I just bought a modded and region free console. Why is it taking so long? It's just another really slow one. So yeah, if you've got any import Dreamcast game recommendations, let me know. Is that another key? Key door? I got a few while I was in Japan, uh, just before COVID hit. Uh, what do I get? Trigger Heart Exalica was one I was really excited to find. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to give me an enemy to throw? Oh, am I supposed to just throw it into the background? Yeah. That's clever. I like it when they use the two the two planes like that. And that explains why they took a while to blow up. The little puzzles like that. Yeah, Pokemon was never that difficult. I think people just remember it being more difficult than it was because when you were a kid you weren't as good at games as you are now. I'm still looking forward to the new one. I've played every gen since they came out, so... I'll still continue to play them. What's your favourite Pokemon gem, if you had to pick one? That goes for anyone watching as well. What's your favourite Pokemon generation? Uh, I always used to think mine was Gen 3, but... I want to go back and play Gen 5 again, because I remember really enjoying that. And uh, Gen 2 as well. I mean, I'm planning maybe next month at some point. Oh, there we go. Rissu Choose there. I was about to say that I'm planning on uh, doing the Nuzlocke Challenge dual stream thing with uh, with Rissu Chu to go through Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Am I? How am I supposed to do this? Am I using the wrong one? Ah, uh, I think I'm using the wrong one. I'm supposed to use that shiny one to jump over and then use the red one to get up here. Yeah, there we go. I'm really looking forward to playing gold and silver again, actually. I'm not sure how I feel about doing a randomizer, though. We'll see soon. I'm interested to see how it works. Oh, I didn't need to go back over there. That just gave me a key to that bit.
And there must be some gems here. Because there's one of those weird gem fairy things. I still find it weird that... Um, I guess i got to come back over there. I find it weird that they don't shine. Uh, whenever they change the individual moves into physical special status rather than all fire. Well, that's when you stop liking them. What's going on here? Smash some boxes. I think I might actually get all the gems in this level. I haven't missed any yet. I don't know whether I'm supposed to keep going across the bottom there or go up here. Uh, I gotta carry him over there. Okay, back we go. Not a very powerful convey belt if you can just keep jumping over it like that. There we go. Uh, I've missed one. Never mind. That probably means I've missed some gems as well. Oh, that was when the mechanics improved. Yeah, that makes sense. What was the first game to introduce that? Can't remember. What did you think about Legends Arceus as well? Do you think that was a good sort of change of direction for the series? Would you like to see more games like that style? Like more open-ended games? I feel like it was a good game, but the story in it was very heavy-handed and could probably have done without some of the padding. But it's definitely interesting. And obviously the graphics could do with a lot of improvement. Black and white. Yeah, I think that was the first one to introduce that. Along with a lot of other features, which they then took out of the future games as well. I remember really enjoying all the online stuff with black and white and... Um, it wasn't really... Well, it was kind of like Street Pass, but before Street Pass was a thing as well. I love playing that because uh, I was at uni at the time and all my friends bought the game day one as well, so I had loads of people to play it with. You're up to no good again, aren't you? Come and get me! Again! I haven't played Arceus yet. Animated sprites that scale badly. Hey, at least they're animated. Yeah, the scaling was really weird in them ones. Oh god, this is going to be uh, uh, awkward. Awkward boss. Damn. Okay, yeah, this is really ah, uh, this is really difficult because I can't aim. I just have to rely on it lining me up in the right angle. Okay, this this is really ah, uh, really difficult. Got one. I like it though. Again, a really unique boss fight. Yeah, you got one. Right, what's the next stage? Hey, you don't play nice. Do I have to go and chase her now? That's how it works on the other level. Or does the level just carry on? That was a cool mid-stage boss fight then. 
some platforms will vanish. Again, still introducing concepts from the first game. There's been nothing unique yet. Kind of a, a wasted opportunity with a sequel to not have anything new. Oh no! That's not fair, I didn't see that one up there. I think he was supposed to stand on the top there. Okay, let's try again. So I think the air there just blows you straight up so you're not supposed to try and get back onto the platform. <coughs> Maybe. Ah! Yeah. Let's hope I haven't fallen too far behind though. I don't know, that's fine. There you go, so I was right, that's what I was meant to do there. And let's get some of these double gems. Again, I don't know whether you need to get every single gem in the area when you get that multiple gem uh, multiplier thing there. Or whether 150 is just the goal to reach. Oh, I did take them all out. Cool. Uh, my first Pokemon game was Crystal because I wanted a game that would last a while in my newly bought GBC. GBA? Oh, wow, you didn't have Crystal when, when you had a Game Boy Color then. That's a good place to start, though. Crystal's a great entry in the series. Okay, I've got to quickly grab one of these bombs and take it over this side then. And then inflate him. And then use the bomb to jump up there. That's clever. I love it when there's like little puzzles like that. GBA was your first portable. The original or the SP with the backlight. Did you go back and play any um, original Game Boy games on it as well then? It'd be interesting to know what you thought about playing original Game Boy games as well if you just got into it when the GBA came out. Were they easy to go back to or because you didn't have the nostalgia was that, was that difficult? Okay, are we going to another boss? Original purple. Hey, oh, yeah, that's cool. My my GBA, my launch day GBA was a purple one too. I always associate that colour with Nintendo now because my GameCube was a purple one as well. And it looks like the wall's purple at the minute as well. I've got some coloured light changing colour over there all the time. Let's shut it down. Oh, we're not going to get another boss. I thought we were going to get a second boss fight there, but it just went to the end of the stage. That's a shame. Ready, go! Ah, I skipped it again. We're in luck. Lee Arena isn't here. She's probably waiting for us, though. Boyographic was the reason you got into the original GB and GBC. Oh, that's cool. I love his channel. He does some great videos. Now for the fake ring and the element. Here we go. Now we get another boss fight. An enemy, it's like an Octorok that's built a tank around it. Vulcan guard bot. What are some of the best games you've found out about on the Game Boy then, thanks to you? Thanks to YouTube. Oh, I'm not supposed to be jumping on that. That, that throws you way too high. You don't need to go that high. <laughs> I 
Am I in some sort of um, like theater? I think. Another cool fight though. This is fun. I wonder what the second phase will be like. We're nearly there. It seems like I can just go straight through him though without taking any damage. Oh, okay. That's cool. Ah, uh, no, I did it too soon. And I did take damage that time. He heard me. So, do I have to time it? Oh no, he's back to normal way. Let's see. Do I get another bounce? Yeah. And then throw it down. Yeah, good timing. And there's a heart waiting for me as well. Ah! Nearly lost it straight away. Uh, okay, apparently if he lands on you, that doesn't cause damage. Also, his missiles can go straight through you as well. Yay! Is that it? Yeah, once they start smoking, that's it. Another really cool boss fight. I love the boss fights in this game. This fight was all I needed from you, really. Thanks to you, I have everything that I need. Fake ring? What are you up to? What am I up to? Isn't it obvious? <gasps> she rang the bell before me. Oh no. Oh wow, you got that on Greece. I haven't even got that game myself. I really want to get it though, it's been on my eBay list for a long time. And Zass as well if you're if you're into your shoot 'em ups. What the I'll go to the reactors. I thought I'd tear the reactors off. Vonk was destroying itself anyway. Give the element back. Go home and rest assured, little one. I will save your precious world. <laughs> like the Resi finale. Klonoa's going to end up inside a volcano and have to punch boulders. Klonoa, quick! Get the, uh, get the rocket launcher. This isn't right. We have to shut down the reactors. Great time to grow a conscience. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Let's do it. I thought we already shut down the reactors, so we've got to go and do it again. Helped out with the GBI. Game Boy interface. That's cool. That's why that's what I use to record all my Game Boy videos too. Uh, okay, yeah, we got to go back to the same level again as well. <sighs> Maybe I won't edit my video after I come off this stream. Don't know why I'm tired today. Ow! Oh my god, an enemy actually hurt me. Is the game actually going to start picking up in difficulty? So blame me for why his video's got pixel sharp. What was he using before? Was he just using the Game Boy Player? It's such a huge improvement if you use GBI, isn't it? It's insane. Like, why couldn't Nintendo do that themselves? I do question their decisions sometimes. <clears throat> Whoa, that sent me forward a bit too fast. Ah! 
Okay, you can't hit the side of them either. And checkpoint. Why is there just a random cooker on the floor? Oh, it's back here again. I recognise this. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't pick up on that. Yeah, the base, um, the base Game Boy Player software is awful. Like it has three different smoothing filters, and none of them really look very good at all. And it runs at the wrong resolution, and oh, I could go on about how rubbish it is. At the time, though, I didn't know any different. It was the first. It was the the way I played a lot of GBA games for the first time. Actually, it's how I played all the way through Golden Sun for the first time. I was still amazed at that game. So I guess if you don't know that there's a better alternative, then it doesn't really matter so much. But yeah, for YouTube, if you want to get a really nice clear picture, then it's the best thing to do. Or use um, use a Super Game Boy on the Super NT. That's what I do sometimes as well. So, I was complaining about this level being too easy before, so let's see whether they've changed it enough to make it more a bit more of a challenge. It already seems a bit more challenging from the fact that I've only got one heart left. <clears throat> yeah, I guess with composite you wouldn't notice the difference. It's still alive! I really got a bad feeling about this. Run! Run away from the horrible frame rate! Oh my god, the frame rate. Whoever was asking earlier, how does it run on the Switch? Uh, like an N64 game. Oh no! Oh no, there's two things I missed. I didn't even see what that other thing was. Let's hope it wasn't important. It's probably a puzzle piece. Damn it. Uh, yeah, it was probably the second one. Uh, hey, at least the level's more interesting this time. A lot more exciting. Damn. Again, it'd be really frustrating if you were trying to get all of the gems. Down the drain. And is this section going to be more difficult? I think that's new. I don't remember the floor being on fire like that. Oh, yeah, this is where it introduced those. Ah, 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 damn it. I mean, yay, finally a challenge. Let's wait for the next one. Whoa! I think I almost fell off then. Something weird happened. Come on! It's like waiting for the block in Mario Land. If you know, you know. Mm, do I go this way? That bit was blocked off last time, if I remember right. Okay, there's nothing really up here. Just a few gems for completionists. And yeah, this was a bit where one of those... Oh, one of them is just higher up this time. One of those rocket things was there. Okay. They've definitely... Um, this level's definitely gone up in my estimation. I was complaining about it before, but I'm enjoying it this time. This is how it should have begin should have been to begin with. Kind of reminds me of the new ukulele game as well, the fact that you can go back to the same level and it's it plays differently. That might be something fun to stream in the future. Impossible there. Not the first ukulele, that game sucks. Mostly sucks. Sorry if anyone loves ukulele. I didn't really think it was that good, compared to Banjo-Kazooie at least.
Here we go, another chase scene. Let's see whether I can stay further ahead this time. They really love showing off all the tops of these buildings. Like, whoa, look what the PS2 can do. And now it's on the Switch. It's like, oh, it's struggling to run this. Really? Mario Galaxy style scene there. Now we've got to run the other way. Oh, Mario Galaxy is another game that I want to play again. No! Yes, got it, just in time. Oh god. Ah, oh, why do they speed up so much? What the hell? Now what am I supposed to do? He's setting the floor on fire. Damn. That's one of the reasons why you stopped making videos, because everything went HD. Uh, yeah, I guess you were kind of stuck then if you couldn't record anything. You could always do it OG YouTube style like I did and just record the screen with a camera. And now I have like four different capture cards that I've got. I can't decide which one to use. I was glad when everything went HD though, because I used to hate the the way the colours bled together and flickered, like how the red would always cause those weird like honeycomb artifacts on the TV. So I'm glad all that kind of stuff's sorted out. Even at the time, I always thought there's got to be a better way of displaying things than this. And jaggies as well. I'm glad they're kind of a thing of the past. And obviously it's a lot easier to read text on games these days too. So I am very glad about HD. But yeah, I can see why why it must have been a bit of a struggle to transition to it. Kids these days won't know the struggle. Yeah, I hope there's a patch. I'm pretty sure they could smooth things out. Yeah, I probably just didn't have very good cables as a kid, but I didn't know what I was what I was looking at back then. Right, what am I supposed to be doing here? Actually, hurting him or just just bouncing around? I guess just keep going and hope that he doesn't hit me. Yeah, I'm probably just going to do things like that to try and jump over him. Or just get hit and just carry on regardless. There we go. Ah! Okay, you're just going to stand there and keep jumping. Now that you've finally caught me, don't try and do anything, sure. Ah, uh, this was the bit that I kept failing at. Well, failed once, because of that train. Oh, the train's not there this time. That's new. Okay, just got to land on the tracks and another chase scene. Ah, there's the train! Jump! Oh, I just stand there and take the death. Okay, I don't know what happened then. Somehow I went... Uh, somehow I went underneath the level. Uh, it made me fall asleep. Uh, 20 more minutes and I'm going to call it a night tonight, I think. But I'll be streaming again tomorrow anyway. Back to playing Sonic. Ah, I didn't get to do another chase scene. I'll try not to fast forward in case any more text comes up.
so yeah, if you want to join me again tomorrow, at uh, the same time, I'll be playing some more Sonic Mania, hopefully finishing that. And then, I haven't decided what I want to move on to for my Thursday streams yet. Another, another Sonic game, for sure, but I don't know which one. So, let me know what Sonic game you'd like me to play, I guess. And yeah, I'm up for playing Sonic 06, whatever. Although, not yet though, because I just hooked my PS3 up the, the other day to play Rorona. Um, but I've lost all my other games, I don't know where they are. Um, anyway, but the Priestess's power is necessary for the ring to function, so how did Leorena vision clear? How did she manage to ring the bell if she's not a priestess? Who knows? Let's move on. I was thinking of actually playing Sonic 4 next, because technically in the timeline it's the next game after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I know it's not great, but it exists. And I quite enjoyed Sonic 4 Episode 2, actually. I thought only a priestess could wield the ring. We may have underestimated her. Then we better hurry to the next element. Hold your horses, the bell of indecision lies in Mirror Mirror, where strangers are not welcome. Even Leorina will be hard pressed to get near it. Then how do you suppose we get there? Hmm. Mirror Mirror borders the lake of seclusion, where an ancient ark rests. It is said that this ark once travelled not only to Mirror Mirror but all around the world. Perhaps you can use the Ark to get across the Lake of Seclusion. That is, if the Ark still works. An Ark that travelled around the world? Once, when the world was in harmony, people moved freely between the kingdoms. You're kidding me! I don't believe it! That seems impossible! Yes, well, the kingdoms are so isolated now. Why don't we just go? No use standing here and talking. You're right. After all, I can't let Leorina save the world. Huh? What do you mean? We are going to save the world. Hmm, that doesn't seem quite right. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's get going. Dream Traveller. There seems to be a lot more story stuff going on in this one than the first one. Your future remains veiled to me. Trying to regain your confidence to make videos again. What kind of videos do you want to make? Like reviews? Or do you want to do like on-camera stuff like me where you show off different things? Because I think it would be easier if you're just getting started to do just scripted stuff, maybe you could start off camera um, and then work your way up to like having bits of like on camera presence and stuff do a retrospective on treasure yeah that'd be cool treasure's made a load of really really unique and interesting games <clears throat> so that's the arc huh it's such a shame that treasure doesn't really do anything anymore It's got three engines and all. All right, let's give it a try. Cool. If you do ever start a YouTube channel up, let me know. I'd be happy to help out if you've got any questions too. As best as I can. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, honestly. It may seem like I have everything planned, but no. There's a lot I don't... I don't think I'm doing right yet. Or a lot I think I could do better. Eat that. Hey, there's one of the enemies from the first game. Oh, oh I did make it. I wasn't sure if I was going to get that blue one. Right, is there anything here? Oh no, just death. <laughs> oh dear. 
Have you still got your own videos up on the channel? I know some people get really embarrassed of their own videos and delete them all, but I think having the old videos there is part of, you know, you can see the progress that you've made and stuff, so I like, I like keeping my old videos live. But I'm a bit of a hoarder as well, so I don't think I could ever let them go. I like being able to look back on things. I enjoy looking at other YouTubers' channels as well and seeing, um, you know, how they've changed over the years. It's interesting to see when they, you know, when they pivoted to how they are today and you can tell, like, they finally hit that sweet spot for their channel where they knew what they wanted to do and they knew what their audience wanted to see as well. Fifteen years old. Uh, when was fifteen years ago? Two thousand and yeah, two thousand and seven. Is it? That's that's the same time as I uploaded my first video. Grab a licory and throw it at an enemy. It will change colour. A licory can shatter crystals the same colour as itself. I don't get, I don't get what it just did. It swallowed the enemy, and then, and then it lit up. So when it lights up is when you can actually use it to break the colored barriers, I guess. Oh, what's going on here? This is like a like a Donkey Kong bonus area, just without a time limit. Egg! It's been a while since we saw an egg in the background. <clears throat> Simple videos for Rakuga kids. That's a cool game to do videos on. It looks really interesting. It has a really cool art style. Hmm, how do I get under there with that? Uh, do I just have to wait for him to walk over? Are you going to walk this way? No. Hey, come on. I'm right here. Hey. Come back. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Yep, come on. Come on. No. Let's bring him up here then. Hmm. Maybe he'll stay? No? This isn't the Monster Hunter Rise Sonic Quest. Neither is it Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, how do I get under there? Oh, no, I've ruined that twice now. I don't understand how to get to that one. Anyone who's watching, how am I supposed to take something under there with me? He keeps turning around, and that's going to pop as soon as I go around the other side. There must be something I'm missing. And that just goes back outside again. And I don't think you can grab it that fast either. Unless the level loops round and I'm supposed to do it further on. Let's carry on round. There's probably somewhere else where the camera spins. And then you can just hit it from the other side. Maybe? It's sending me the right way. Or is it sending me too far? No, the camera turned round. Okay. Throw the yellow one under, then run. I tried throwing the yellow one, but it it did the same. If there's a way of going back, I'll try again. Maybe I'm supposed to throw it under before... Uh, before it absorbs one of the other ones. 
Uh, oh, that was close. I don't think that was the right way of doing that. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back now either. I probably missed a puzzle piece, didn't I? Hey, another enemy from the first game. Can't believe they still haven't really introduced anything new, though. Like, halfway through the game now. And it's basically just new levels for the first game. Is anything going to happen? Okay. I'm guessing I have to come back there later. I didn't see anywhere to use the key, though. Oh, this bit here. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I wanted to go back around the other, the other part of the level then and try throwing that yellow thing under. I don't need those hearts. Yet. Now where am I? This looks like a Zelda dungeon. Looks like uh, that dungeon in Wind Waker where you have to keep going around and changing that plant. What is that? Thought I would have to throw something in there, but... Uh, maybe. Maybe I can throw that in there. So, yeah, is that going to come back over to me? Yeah, and then we can throw it in there, now that it's red. And that started that thing turning. Cool. It is a Zelda dungeon. <coughs> hey, why are you going over there? Yeah, that's the one I was on about. Is it the Deku Tree? That game's version of the Deku Tree? Oh, these platforms have started spinning now as well. Make this bit a bit more challenging. I'm glad they did something to change up, because it would have got boring doing the same bit twice. And that's new as well. We've got uh, an anti-air unit from Advance Wars. The Lost Woods. Was it? No, maybe I'm thinking of a different dungeon then. After this stage, I'm going to look up Wind Waker dungeons. Well, I'm going to probably call it a night after this stage, because I'm pretty tired. But Yeah, before that, I'm going to prove that it wasn't the Lost Woods. Damn it. I'm not a fake gamer. No fake gamer would choose to play Klonoa. You get the boomerang. Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking out of a different lane. Then you fight the boss and you have to use the boomerang to get rid of all the like the roots off the tree. Uh, I think if I go back there and there I'm gonna die. Maybe I can use that to jump over? Right, let's hope there was something on this side. Yeah, check oh maybe this was the right way to go anyway. There's another egg. Yeah, I've missed a lot in this level. Oh, I was listening to to some music earlier and the offspring came offspring came on and it started playing some music from Crazy Taxi. I was like, Oh, I really want to play Crazy Taxi, I thought. I won't 
I won't be allowed to play that on Twitch, will I? Because it's got copyrighted music. Which is such a shame. I hate music copyright. Uh, why do they have to ruin it for everyone? That means I wouldn't be able to... How dare I not have 100% perfect? I can't remember everything. But yeah, I'm really annoyed that I can't play Crazy Taxi because... Uh, because it's got copyrighted music. Wait, is that moving? How am I supposed to get him? Come out! What am I doing wrong? I need to bring him out so I can... So I can pick him up. I'm not monetized, but I might still get a strike against it, which might harm it for when I am. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because it has like a three strike policy, it said. So it doesn't matter whether you're actually monetized or not, you can still get in trouble. It's like YouTube, like, if you. Oh, maybe I do need to go back down here. Use a little flutter jump to save me before I fall to my death. Okay, let's try and use this all the way to the left. No, it's still not going to go far enough. So what am I supposed to do? He's hiding behind there. I don't know if there's anything else on this side to go. I'll be monetized in two streams time anyway. And and counting. Right, let's see what's on the other side. There'll be another string in my full time content creator belt. Eventually. There's nothing over here. I'm stuck guys, help! I think it does have fall damage, because I fell before and it killed me. But I don't know whether I died before I started falling. That one doesn't, because I used my flutter. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. I can't jump high enough to go into the distance there. Throwing anything at that doesn't move it. Throwing things at that doesn't do anything yet. Can't get far enough to pick him up. <laughs> I'm completely stumped. What am I meant to do? There's nothing else over that side. Maybe I'm just supposed to come back here later? Maybe I'm supposed to come at it from the other side? There's definitely nothing nothing else over here. No, oh, that's a dead end. Okay. Let's jump down there. Let's see whether there's fall damage. I'm not going to press anything. No. Okay, you can just fall as far as you want. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I had a key. Yeah, this is new. Oh, yeah. I think I'm too tired to play this if I didn't even realise I'd pick the key up. This level's massive as well. Oh no! Okay. So I can't use that one. Whoops. 
Yeah, no, I can't use it. So that's one. That's two. That's three, but now I can't get back up. I need shadow. Oh, the edge. Oh, yeah, do it like that, of course. Ah. I know what to do now. I need shadow or another coffee. But it was a bit late for another coffee. Yay, now I can go back up there. Finally. Woo, progress. <clears throat> Slow progress. If I play Shadow on stream, then you've got to promise to subscribe. That's my deal for playing Shadow the Hedgehog. At least one month sub. I need a, a button to edit out yawns. Uh, do I need to stay here first? Going to Blackpool in October? Yep, I'll be at Play Expo. I've got my VIP tickets for it, so I can uh, do a video for them while I'm there, which will be really fun. New colour. And whatever that did. Deal. Yeah, you can use your Amazon Prime. It works the same. Ah! Oh, where am I? I presume that counts as already being done. Let's hope so. You booked the hotel already. Yeah, I should do that soon before the prices go up. Cool. If you see me there, feel free to say hi. It'd be good to meet you in person. Hopefully I'm getting a new camera by then so I can do a really nice video of the show. Gonna get the uh, A7S III, which I'm super excited about. If there's any camera nerds watching. I'm really big into my cameras and gear and stuff too. If you hadn't guessed. Okay, we're back. I don't know whether there's any guests announced for this Play Expo or not. I haven't really looked into it. I know I don't really need to go back up here, but I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I missed. Uh, there's a few things up there. Some extra gems. There were some really cool guests at the Manchester one before... the, the last one before Covid. So hopefully they'll announce some cool people, and uh, I'm hoping to do some interviews as well. So hopefully there'll be some like game developers I can speak to and stuff like that. Oh yeah, why am I not on their guest list? They had a YouTuber's panel last time as well, and I always thought, like, oh, maybe one day I'll, I'll be big enough to go on the YouTuber's panel. We'll see. Maybe in a few years.
Oh, that's cool. I didn't really have a chance to try out any of the competitions or anything last time. I think there was... There was um, one of those Nintendo Championships cartridges they had. Like one of those... Um, I don't know which way to go again now. One of those repros of the championship cart. Okay, I've got to... I've got to pick something up to go back over there. And yeah, I remember I got first prize on that. For doing the Tetris, uh, Donkey Kong Country, and... I can't remember what the last game on that collection is. It's one of those ones where you have to get a high score in each game, and then depending on the games, it, it times the score by a certain amount. I think if you did well at Tetris, you get the best bonus. Oh, that was a bit awkward to do. Oh my god, this level's taking forever. So... What was on this side? Is it still there? Oh, it's not even there anymore. Ah, uh, no, not again! Ah. Uh, I blame the King of the Losers for that one. Uh, let's get back up. Oh, no, I only have seven lives left. I don't actually know what happens when you run out of lives. Where does it start you from? Hopefully just the start of the level and not the start of the whole world. Is it going to blow up? Give him a second. He's thinking about it. Very slowly. Oh, he didn't do anything anyway. Mad cuz bad. Copium. Off that copium. We'll get there, boys. I'm not high energy enough to, to do that sort of thing. Leave that to the zoomers. Move! Uh, do I need another one? No, it's fine. Ah, oh, I wonder how many gems that gave me. Oh, there is a bit that turns gold. I was complaining earlier that nothing turned gold when you pick that thing up, but some bits do. Oh my god, this level is just going on and on and on. There isn't a timer for the level, but I swear this has been like 15 minutes now, just on this one stage. I like it though, but I wanted to finish the stream at 10. Uh, oh no, and there was a checkpoint there as well. Ah, oh, damn it, King of the Losers. Oh, never mind. Apparently it thinks that I got that checkpoint. How do I get that? How do I get that? I don't think I can jump that far. Come back later, maybe? Yeah, there's no way I can make that jump. I'd have to throw him away. You <laughs> can speedrun this in 43 seconds. Precisely 43 seconds every time. I bet there's some glitch where you can where you can go through the whole level in like five seconds or something. 
Yeah, God tier, clearly. Oh, I'm missing something else. How am I supposed to get all in? Two checkpoints. Hey, we got a new key. Oh my god, is this going to turn into a 24 hour stream because of this one level? Now we've got to go back again. Hope you guys are enjoying this endless stage. There's the door for the key. You won by over a hundred thousand. Wow. I'm guessing most people didn't know what to do. Oh, I did that wrong. Uh, right, how am I supposed to... Yes. Uh, just like that, that's easy. Right, come on, speed run time. Let's get this level done. I wish there was a run button, or a dash, or something. Do you have a special way of playing it then to get a higher score? Can't remember where I'm meant to be going now. I don't think I've been this way before. Oh, I have, yeah. I'm just not paying attention. This dreamy music sending me to sleep as well. Hey, it's changed a bit. These platforms are swinging now. And these wheels have turned on. Oh, that's how you get to him. So I wasted all that time earlier trying to get up there. Where it would just let me go up there eventually. Okay, and now he's going to come up here and let me get to those gems I missed before. And that's the second checkpoint, so you don't have to go back and do all that stuff again. Yeah, the level design starting to make sense. Of course you did. Although you finished this level in 43 seconds, so you probably just skip all this anyway, right? What's going on here? I've got to collect both of these enemies and then use one. Get one to take up there with me. Hmm. Hit that and then run over there as soon as possible to grab one before the platform goes without me, maybe. No, no, I'm not gonna get over there in time. Hmm. Again, I'm kind of stuck.
Maybe I can just use an enemy up there? But then what's the point of lowering the platform? Okay, I'm not even stood on it. Okay. Don't even need the platform. I don't think that was the way you were supposed to do it. They're going, they're going! Alright, here we go. Yeah. That probably is the speedrunning way to get past that bit. I don't even understand what you're supposed to do properly, though. I uh, wonder if there's a way of seeing how many levels are left. Maybe not. Well, I said I was going to end it after there, so thank you everyone who stuck around to watch this part of Klonoa 2. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll find someone to send you all over to. Um, let's go... Let's see if DGR Dave is live. Oh no, he's not there. Oh, I haven't got anyone to send you to, unfortunately. But thank you for the follow, whoever just popped up there. Um, I'm on a Marth Pog. Cool. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm going to end the stream here, though, because I'm pretty tired. But thank you all so much for watching. And come back tomorrow at the same time, half seven, because I'll be playing through the rest of Sonic Mania that I didn't do last time, so I hope you're all looking forward to that. And of course I'll upload all these bods on YouTube afterwards, and they'll also be available on Twitch, so feel free to go back and watch them. Alright, see you soon everyone! Bye!